Bristol Chamber of Commerce has been around since 1823, which is a long time ago. It was formed to represent the views and concerns of Bristol-based ship owners who were being asked to pay quite a lot of money to, to use the new floating harbour. And uh, really, uh, Chambers of Commerce have fulfilled that kind of function ever since, about representing business, it may be special sectors of business, in that case it was ship owners, to the relevant authorities, in that case the City Council. But it could just as easily be in this modern day about improving infrastructure for new and modern business. A business on their own uh, maybe is a small voice in the wilderness, but in a larger number, and we, we're talking here about nearly 2,000 businesses, um, those that will, we want to take notice will take notice if you're suddenly representing not just 2,000 businesses, but in our case, 300,000 employees. Uh, and if you extrapolate that figure again, probably in excess of half a million people in terms of families. So you could say that a Chamber of Commerce is responsible for the social and economic welfare of over half a million people. But there's also many other offers that we do, far too many to go into any length of this tape, but it's all about really allowing businesses to network and talk to each other. There's an awful lot of benefit from that, but it's also being able to put them in touch with all kinds of support that we as a chamber can offer by our contacts with their fellow members.